Welcome to our training, Create a Manual Sponsored Products Campaign. Sponsored products are ads for individual product listings in the Amazon store. These ads appear in search results and on product detail pages to help customers find your products when they're searching for or viewing similar items. When you're ready to get started with sponsored products, you'll need to create a campaign. A campaign is the series of advertising messages you'll use to help persuade your customers to take a specific action, like clicking your ad and, later, purchasing your products. Automatic campaigns are the easiest and quickest way to get started with sponsored products. We'll match your ads to customer search terms, which can save you time and provide performance insights. You also have the option to create manual sponsored products campaigns, which can help give you more control. You can spend more of your budget on the best performing keywords and less on lower performing ones. Before you move from automatic campaigns to manual campaigns, you should know which products you'd like to advertise, how much you're willing to spend on the campaign per day, which keywords you'd like to use, and how much you're willing to bid on each keyword. If you don't have these answers yet, we recommend reviewing performance reports from your automatic campaigns. When you're ready to get started with manual campaigns, select the menu in the top left corner of Seller Central. Hover over Advertising and select Campaign Manager. And click Continue under Sponsored Products. Complete the prompted settings for your advertising campaign. Your campaign's name is only visible to you. Enter a specific name to help you distinguish it from the other campaigns you'll launch. For example, you can include the type of products you're promoting and the current season. Use the Start and End fields to choose the duration of the campaign. We recommend selecting No End Date. You might hear this referred to as an always-on approach, which allows the campaign to run continuously. You can monitor and adjust the campaign based on how it's performing. It can take 7 to 14 days to attribute a customer's purchase to when they clicked your ad. If you'd prefer to choose an end date, let the campaign run for at least a few weeks to allow time for this attribution to take place. Once the campaign is live, you can shorten, extend, pause, or end it at any time. Your daily budget is the total amount you're willing to spend on the campaign each day. Once you've reached your daily budget, the campaign will pause until the following day when your daily budget resets. Select Manual Targeting to create a manual sponsored products campaign. Use the Next section to select your campaign's bidding strategy. We recommend choosing Dynamic Bids Up and Down. Every time your sponsored products ad is eligible to appear, we'll predict the likelihood of a click resulting in a sale will increase or decrease your bid based on this likelihood. If you select Dynamic Bids Down Only, will decrease your bid if your ad is less likely to result in a sale. Unlike with Dynamic Bids Up and Down, we won't bid higher than the bid amount you choose. If you prefer to set an exact bid that won't be adjusted, select Fixed Bids. To learn more about these bidding options and how bidding works, select Choose Your Bidding Strategy. Ad groups provide a way to organize, manage, and track your campaign's performance. The products you include in an ad group all share the same keywords and bids. You'll start with a single ad group and can add more after you launch the campaign. Enter a descriptive name for this ad group, which will only be visible to you. Use the Products section to add the products you want to advertise to the ad group. We recommend choosing ones that fall within the same product category, are closely related to each other, and are listed at a similar price. For example, if you're promoting multiple bags, you might consider choosing ones that are part of the same collection. Adding similar products will help you review and compare how well they're performing after your campaign launches. You can promote dissimilar items, but we recommend doing so in separate ad groups. Once you've decided which products to add, you can search for individual ASINs, enter a list of multiple ASINs, or upload a spreadsheet with the list of ASINs you'd like to advertise. Use the spreadsheet template we provide to help make sure you upload the information correctly. 
Each ASIN you add will populate in the section's right-hand column. If you'd like to remove a product from the campaign, select the X icon next to its name. The targeting section lets you choose your campaign's overall strategy. You can select keyword targeting or product targeting. Keywords are the words or phrases that customers search for while shopping in the Amazon store. With keyword targeting, you'll identify specific terms to help your ads appear in customers' relevant search results. We recommend using product targeting for your campaign if you'd prefer a broader strategy. You'll identify products or categories instead of specific product-related keywords. If you're launching a campaign in multiple stores, use it as an easy way to advertise without relying on translations and keyword research across stores. We'll select Keyword Targeting for this example. Use the Keyword Targeting section to choose your bid. A bid is the maximum amount you're willing to pay to earn one click on your ad. As a reminder, we may increase this number if you chose Dynamic Bids Up and Down in the Campaign Bidding Strategy section. Each time a customer clicks on your ad, the bid amount is deducted from the campaign's daily budget. For example, if your bid is a dollar and your daily budget is $10, the maximum number of clicks you can receive on your ad is 10 per day. You can choose Suggested Bid, Custom Bid, or Default Bid. Starting with the Suggested Bid can make your bid more competitive and help improve the chance for your ad to display. The Suggested Bid and Bid Range are calculated based on bids for ads similar to yours that have displayed for customers over the past seven days. If you'd like to choose your own bids, you can select Default Bid to apply the same bid to all keywords or Custom Bid to apply different bids to individual keywords. You can use suggested keywords for your campaign. You can also choose your own by entering a list of keywords or uploading a spreadsheet. Using suggested keywords can help you achieve higher ad-attributed sales and a higher return on ad spend than relying on your own keyword research. These suggestions are based on which keywords from your previous campaigns performed well, which keywords performed well across the Amazon store, what terms customers are searching for in the Amazon store, and how often these searches result in a sale. If you'd like to enter your own keywords, we recommend checking keyword performance details from your other sponsored products campaigns. Then add keywords that met your performance goals to this campaign. You can use the search term report to find and review these insights. To find the search term report, select the menu in the top left corner of the Seller Central homepage. Hover over Advertising and select Campaign Manager. Select Measurement and Reporting from the menu on the left side of the page. Click Reports and then Create Report. On the following page, in the Configuration section, click the Search Term button and select the type of report you want from the drop-down menu. Whether you choose your own keywords or use our suggested ones, keep a close eye on your campaign's performance. We recommend reviewing your campaign at least every two weeks. You can increase or decrease your bids based on these insights to make sure you're meeting your goals. The negative keyword targeting section is optional. You can use negative keywords to prevent your ads from displaying when a customer's search terms match certain terms or phrases. Review a search term report from your existing campaigns to look for low-performing keywords. For example, you may want to exclude keywords that caused your ad to appear in customer search results but didn't result in sales. When you've completed the required sections, save a draft of your campaign or launch it. If you select Launch Campaign, it'll go live on the date you chose in the Settings section. You now have the tools to set up a manual campaign to help customers discover your products. This concludes our training, Create a Manual Sponsored Products Campaign. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.